everybody, this is Destructo Kitty here, and we're playing more Life is Strange. So, last episode, we found out that Kate was raped. Or at least she thinks she was raped. Or, no, she was raped. The birds are she was drugged. Samuel. And she's not 100% sure, but hey, Samuel. she was You're drugged. <laughs> oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm. So the last episode was very you. emotional for me. Um, That's one thing I truly love about Hopefully this day. one won't it's be as emotional. Cool animals <laughs> in the, forest. the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Hmm. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, see you later. He seems a little spiritual. Ah, uh, look, there's Warren G. What's that? Looks like broken shell or something. This is Nathan, father. This is a message to let you know that the attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this the final polite warning. Okay, Max, good luck with that, here. asshole. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck a like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. Yeah, I why not? Those old school Enjoy ape the films. last week well, on Earth or whatever. <laughs> cool, I'll text you the info. Okay, let's go on the bus. So we got a message. Uh, I don't think I recorded it, but we got a message from Chloe, and we're gonna do breakfast with Chloe. David so I thought that'd be Nathan fun. Cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Just me or does Max always look like she has to pee? <laughs> oh no, more music that might be copyrighted. La da 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 da. Listen to me sing. 
sing. I don't know how to sing. I like the music of this game. It's really nice and relaxing. Unfortunately, I can't sing, especially because I'm still kind of... Uh, my allergies are all messed up. My sinuses are all messed up from fun allergies and goodness stuff like that. Mm. <clears throat> Not listen to the maybe copyrighted music. As a photographer myself, I'd be taking pictures of pretty much everything right now, especially the lighthouse. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I got a message from Chloe. Running late, grab a booth at the diner, mom will feed you. Somebody bitter, well. Somebody bitter. You'll be lucky you make it by noon. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Uh, I remember those, that kind of feeling. I grew up in a small town too and every time I go back to it, I'm like, ah, memories. Oh, my troubles seem so far away. Uh, except some people don't work there anymore. <laughs> And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. <laughs> no, like you still look pretty. Jeez, don't take it and so I say negatively. You, you're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. <sighs> Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe has changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got she a rebel against her stepfather. She had a lot of traumatic stuff happen to her. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yeah, he was a hard-ass before. <laughs> he found a joint, though. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. 
And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? Is that why I attacked her? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing yeah, with Kate. all these adults seem kind of like assholes. Why. This is very nice much like a Drew, but uh, next persona you, where a lot of the adults about. are assholes. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Belgian waffles. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, considering that she looks young. like a hipster lady, now she finish might as well coffee. have her vegan, so Belgian waffles it is. <laughs> Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish oh. I could stay in this moment forever. You take a picture. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I'm like rumbling from here. The country Max. music is killing me. Yeah, you'll love what this. happened to the good music? I'm drooling. Are like you a drooling baby. like a baby? Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Huh. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? You're 18 and you can jukebox? do it. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain. Should you why be I talking about it so openly time. and loud? Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. Oh this my is gosh. All happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here. Will now. you notice if I return I can turn back time every and single everything? Thing you have if in I could turn you back time. Dude, I don't even know what's in my pockets. <laughs> Let me see. You don't put you don't check what's in your pockets? Okay, Max. Impress me. Um a tube of glitter. You you tube you're a hipster, you'd have glitter. Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you Aww. what's actually in my pockets. Okay. What's in your pockets then? That was beyond epic fail. Okay, cigarettes, keys. Can I take a closer look? You need to look at the act. Let me okay, take Max. a closer Study look. every item carefully and don't forget anything. Keys. With a cute panda. Cigarettes. Coins. And a warning ticket. Okay. Let's back up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back that ass up. You're a fine ass woman, won't you back that ass up? Okay. Oh, her mouth is moving, and it says she's supposed to be saying something, but nothing is okay, being Max, said. Okay, I'm hella ready. Okay. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Uh, yes, you know cigarettes. I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Uh, 
Ah, uh, I didn't count. Seven cigarettes. Um, the superpower seven, that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something um, else in my pocket? I'm just guessing. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need oh, details. Oh, it's a cute panda. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Um, parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact oh, time God, I was busted? Oh God, I didn't busted? pay that much attention. Um, six forty-two is too early. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. And money. Hmm. Uh, Some money. I saw Literally, three quarters, fuck. so it's more How than seventy-five cents. Eighty-six cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Did I get everything right? Amazing. Oh, I did. <laughs> I literally just got chills Dang. all over my neck. Nice. Noise. You have powers. No shit. <laughs> I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Oh I'm my god. Freaking out about what just happened. You you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict okay. the future. No way. Now, pay attention to okay. everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. Okay. I'm finishing it. He gets up. Then the music changes. That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think I'll do Davy Jones locker. For Davy Jones's locker. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait. Really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? <laughs> you can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, aren't you gonna clean up the blood or something? Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Okay. Don't even Let's answer. Go. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. 
So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. It's kind of important, dude. Hey, Kate. It'll just be What's a little up, bit. Don't oh my god, don't be so needy. Okay? We can still hang out. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Oh my gosh, she's so needy. Okay, well, I think that's enough for an episode. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you more for another to see what the continuation of this episode. See what else is happening on episode two. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.